Hi, I'm Laura Lee and I'm the Park Superintendent here at White Clay Creek State Park. And today I'm talking a little bit about trail etiquette. We have a variety of park users from bikers, disc golfers, birders, hikers, dog walkers, and we all need to get along. Uh, we all need to be sure to maintain our social distancing as well. So trail etiquette is all about just being respectful of the people around you as well as the environment and also just to understand uh, whose right it is to go first on the trail and things like that. One thing you should be aware of is that Delaware State Parks have a carry-in, carry-out trash policy. We have posts with bags available for your use. We took out the trash cans quite a few years ago in the parks and the results were amazing. The parks are cleaner. We save thousands of taxpayer dollars. We keep wildlife out of trash cans and also it took care of the bee problem. So it's important that you remember that and whatever you bring with you, take out with you as well. When we're on the trail, we ask that you stay on the trail. If you veer off the side of the trail, you create social trails, which can damage wildlife as well as plant life. So stay on the trails, be respectful of where that path is and honor the environment. A lot of our trails come close to sensitive wildlife areas as well as historical ruins. So we ask you please don't pick or dig any flowers and don't take any artifacts home with you. If you see something of significance, you should call the park office. Also, if a tree is down on the trail, give us a call and let us know so we can get out there and take care of it and make the area safe again. Basic trail etiquette is that bikers always yield to hikers. Um, and if you're a biker, descending bikers yield to ascending bikers. Uh, when you're on the trail, be aware of your surroundings. I don't recommend earbuds. They can take away your safety. Uh, if you're a biker, let somebody know you're coming with a bell or maybe just a simple on your left call so that people can be aware. But I do recommend you either leave your earbuds home or just put one in so you don't compromise your own safety. It's important to remember too, please don't bike on muddy days or walk in the mud for that matter. If you can make a mark in the mud, it's too wet and we ask that you wait another day or two so that the trails don't get damaged by that use. Also a reminder that motorized vehicles are not permitted on any of our trails. This includes e-bikes, uh, ATVs, and one-wheelers. So we ask that you leave those at home. Horseback riding is only allowed on designated trails, so it's a good idea to call the park office ahead of time before you come out with your horse to find out where you can ride. Also, there are camping amenities in Delaware State Parks, but we don't allow backcountry camping on our trails. If you want information on where you can camp, you can always call your park office. Now, one of my favorite activities is to walk with my dog. And you see a lot of dogs out this time of year. There are two basic rules. Number one is your dog must be on a six foot leash. And number two is please clean up after your dog and take it home with you as well. There's a lot of good reasons for your dog to be on a leash. Number one, it keeps your dog safe. Um, if your dog wanders into the woods, picks up ticks, poison ivy oil, hitchhiker seeds from invasive plants that'll come home with you. And it's also a danger to wildlife, especially ground nesting birds and any burrowing animals as well. One of our worst problems on the trail that we get the most complaints about is dogs being off leash. And the number one comment I hear is, but my dog is friendly. We have to understand that people in the parks, some people are afraid of dogs, some people have sensory issues, and so for your friendly dog to run up to them, it's an unpleasant experience, and we wanna make the park available to everyone. It keeps your dog safe. If your unleashed dog runs up to a dog on a leash, that dog seems threatened, and often that can trigger a fight. So please keep your dog on a leash so that everybody's safe and happy. Our state parks are pretty amazing recreation opportunities, and we want everybody to enjoy them. Uh, some of my suggestions are, number one, take a map with you. You can always take a picture of the map that's on the trailhead or download one at destateparks.com. I don't advise that you wait until you get out on the trail because reception can be spotty. So take a map so that you're safe. Uh, we also ask that you let someone know where you are when you're going to go hiking. Our parks are 
pretty amazing recreational opportunities, but we need you to help us keep them clean and safe and enjoyable for everybody, including my grandchildren. So I suggest that you get involved, become a volunteer, join our Adopt-A-Trail program, maybe help out with our hunting program in the fall, but reach out and help us be a part of making this a good recreational amenity for years to come. Being aware of your surroundings is especially important during this coronavirus issue. So we ask that you make sure that you bring a mask with you. If you're gonna be within six feet of someone, put it on as a courtesy to the other visitors. Pay attention to where you are on the trail. If there are five of you spread out across the trail and someone wants to pass, be aware of that and move over and allow them room so that everybody can pass safely. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit about trail etiquette. Together we can all be responsible users and enjoy the park no matter what your hobby is.